Hey Michael and welcome to your video analysis. This is of the introduction session that we did on Saturday morning. So we'll just go through a couple of the short videos that I took and I'll talk through a bit of technique as we go. So we'll just have a look here at normal speed and as I can see from uh, some what we've done already this morning was that you really picked up the link concept really really well. So we've got really nice leg drive, you're getting good hip movement and good shoulder rotation especially on this left side. The one thing that we did speak about I guess mainly was just trying to lift those arms up a little bit higher at the back end of the stroke, especially that right one. So we'll just pause it here at the end of this stroke and you can just see right there that the hand's coming up nicely. That elbow's just down a little bit. So we just want to try and lift that elbow up right up to an almost shoulder height and then start the push from that process. So here we go head on and here it's, it's looking pretty good. Elbows are up a little bit but as you can see I don't mind having a look at the forearm there and that right one push arm there was really really good. Um, but I guess back through this stage here now we'll uh, we'll slow it down again and you can just see that the the hand speed up out of the water is a lot faster than the elbow speed so at the end of the exit there at just as the blades coming out of the water you just want to lift that whole arm up from the shoulder so there you, you're out of the water so the next phase your elbow and hand should be the same but there the elbow is going a bit faster and there we're just about to get ready for the push and that elbow is a little bit low so I think that's probably one of the main things we'll try and work on with you. Um, as you can see there, shoulder rotation's good, leg drive's good. So work on that power, work on that link, get the blade in the water first and then drive. Obviously that's going to affect your balance a little bit as discussed, but the Swiss ball exercises will help there. So. So here we've just got four points for you to work on, Mike. The link, as we said, is really, really good. The continuing of just trying to lift the whole arm out of the water and just not lifting the hand up higher. Continue with your dry land exercises to improve lower back stability. And another really good point I worked out was that your push arm finish height's really, really good. And you're really trying to work on that timing, getting the blade in first, then leg. So Mike, all in all, that was really good, mate. You picked up all the um, dry land exercises we went through first. Swiss ball exercises were good. As we discussed, you got to about three, maybe four on the Swiss ball, so that's excellent. Just keep on working on the little things now, obviously. Lift those arms up. That'll give your push arms a little bit more power and the timing, so get the blade in then and really feel that you're pulling against that dead weight and getting the ski to come around where the paddle is. So as we discussed, before we got on the wall. So, um, mate, all in all, good, and hopefully we will see you again soon. Thanks, mate.